Hey guys, this is Cole, and we're here with another Wings of Glory Wednesday. Um, first of all, let me just kind of apologize. Uh, I did end up missing uh, a Wednesday. Just because real life has been busy, um, I'll actually explain more about that just in a bit. But anyway, so due to real life being busy, I'm actually going to downshift doing Wings of Glory Wednesdays to every other week. So I'll have a week on and then a week off. And... That should just make sure that I have the time to kind of plan episodes ahead of time and uh, get them shot and ready to release. Um, and uh, yeah, anyway, so real life's been pretty busy with me. Um, college classes, well, they're not quite imminent yet. They are coming closer and I'm getting ready to register for them. So work's also been busy, but like the biggest thing, um, yeah, I guess I'll tell you all. I actually have a girlfriend now, so that is awesome. It's great, but also, you know, that means I gotta kind of be investing time elsewhere, so. But at the same time, I also don't want to leave you, my faithful subscribers, in the lurch, so I am going to continue posting these uh, videos it's just uh, every other week now. Alright, so for today's video, I thought we'd do something kind of out of left field, something fun. So, here we have it, the uh, Brandenburg W12. This is not an official miniature. This is actually uh, built from a kit. Um, it's got, it's, it's all metal actually. Um, and I think it's, yeah, if I remember correctly, this is a Red Eagle miniatures version. But um, yeah, so this was a lot of fun to build. I did that a couple years ago. And then painting, painting was pretty simple. You just get the uh, light sky blue kind of, um, on the underside and then you put the standard brown on the struts and uh, then you put the lozenge camo uh, on top uh, via decals and so that was the toughest part you just cut that out and then I used a solution called micro set to kind of shrink it to adhere to all the little bumps and ridges on the wings and it's quite nice I mean, of course, like if you took your fingernail and gave it a nice scratch, the scratch would probably stay there, so you do have to be kind of careful. Um, as it is, it does kind of have a bit of a weathered look, which I actually like. Um, anyway, but so what this was, uh, was during the Great War, the Germans developed this float plane, and uh, if I've read the history right, its primary job was to hunt down enemy uh, float planes in the channel. So, uh, huge behemoths like the Felix Stow, uh, flying boat. You know, while we're on the subject of the Felix Stow, I think I might as well tease this a little bit. It's, we're probably not going to feature the Felix Stow in, uh, videos soon, but eventually, eventually we're going to feature this baby. So that also is a Red Eagle miniature, um, version. And that was just a joy to paint. It was very tough, um, but... Lots of fun, and you should see people's reactions when you bring this out on the table. It's just a massive float plane, and it's got so many guns everywhere. So anyway, just going to tease that. This isn't going to show up in videos extremely soon, but eventually, so hey, stick around the channel. So anyway, um, yeah, so as it is, this is an unofficial miniature, so it's not like you could go out and, you know, buy a boxed and ready Wings of War or Wings of Glory, uh... Brandenburg miniature. You'd have to build it and paint it yourself. Um, if you're into that sort of stuff, it's actually quite rewarding though. So anyway, um, I've got a two-seater base from Aerodrome Accessories. It's a very nice little base. It even has uh, even has numbers for you to count the climb on. And I think, so I was pretty young when I did this. I think I accidentally, yeah, I probably built it with the peg facing backwards, so the numbers are supposed to face up this way so you can read them, you know, going clockwise from 1 to 16. Um, yeah, but that is a testament to my youth and inexperience. The base is upside down, but it still faces the right direction, so it works. But, um, yeah, but it's, uh, I think Keith at Aerodrome Accessories does these. I'll just face it the right direction. And they're pretty quality product. They really are. I mean, they're durable. They're clear. Um, and, you know, they don't look like, you know, some aftermarket sort of thing. They look like official stuff. Maybe even better than the official bases. So, definitely would recommend uh, Keith's handiwork. That's pretty cool stuff. Um, anyway, so, 
let's get into the stats. So unofficially, as of when I wrote these stats down, the Brandenburg has A guns in the front, so that means twin guns. Um, let's see if we can even see them. Um, yeah, right there on the nose, twin machine guns in the front. And then um, B guns in the back, so a, a single parabellum uh, machine gun in the turret. And it's got 15 damage points, so, you know, it's a pretty durable little two-seater. And it climbs on a six, so yeah, it's not, I mean, you strap two big pontoons to an already kind of slow plane. And yeah, it's not going to climb like it was shot out of a cannon, but it's, yeah, the climb rate is not spectacular. <laughs> Let's just say that. It uses the K maneuver deck, so the same maneuver deck as, like, the um, Breguet 14 or the Roland. Um, so yeah, I'm going to demonstrate the maneuver deck now. And uh, so yeah, this is the speed for the straights. Um, you know, I'd say it's on the slower end of things. So those are the straights. And then you've got your left turns and got your right turns. And I do apologize, uh, some of the cards are like missing from this deck. Um, apparently it's the only K deck I have, and I probably lost some cards along the way. However, there is a card for each uh, type present. Um, it's just like, I think we're missing like one turn to the right and one straight. But, like I said, there is there should be 17 cards in a complete K deck. But yeah, so we're doing okay. And uh, so then you have your side slips, nothing fancy. Um, stalls. And then climb and dive. Very basic stuff. One thing to note, as you're flying along, since this is a bit of a slower plane, it actually might be a bit of an advantage if someone is trying to saddle up behind you, especially someone driving a SE5 or a SPAD, for instance. They'll come motoring in behind you, but since their speed dif they have a, since their speed is so high and yours is so slow, all you really need to do is like play one of these stall cards to suck them in right close to you, and then they. Whoosh, they shoot right by you, and they're in front of your A-guns then. That's a very nasty piece of business uh, for them to think about. And, yeah, so that's a nice little trick you can use with this. And uh, pretty much a good strategy. Anytime you're flying something with, like, six climb, you know, something that takes forever to get to altitude, is just to continually be uh, banking climb counters. So, like, every turn you can in every three-card set, I'd play one of these if you can one of these climbs just so you can start banking that stuff and then what you could do to like fool some people and surprise them is fly around at like five count climb counters and you know then uh, when you feel like all of a sudden you might be getting attacked or something the last thing <laughs> the last thing your enemy is gonna expect you to do is change a peg of altitude higher just cuz if your enemy is like a, a mediocre player who knows just enough to know that this is a very slow climbing plane, he's not going to be expecting that. Um, so what that can do is you can all of a sudden shift up, like if you've banked five climb counters, and then you just fly around and anytime you please, you can just play that card one more time and boom, you got another peg of altitude and probably they won't have been expecting you to do that, so they won't have been, say, banking climb counters if, like, say, your opponent is a camel or something. Um, and then he'll have at least three sets of three cards to go through to try and get back up to your altitude, which is pretty nice. And then, you know, you can apply the plus one firing rule. Like, if you're firing, I think, at close range... Yeah, so, if you're firing at close range from above, remember, you can only fire... Um, if you're above one peg of altitude, you can only fire up to close range, and long range, it's no shot, just because you're higher and it's a longer distance for the bullets to travel. But, um, there is a rule, I believe, if you are flying and you're higher, and you're shooting down at someone, and, uh, since you're the higher one, you add one point of damage to whatever card damage you dealt out. Um, the exception being, if you dealt him a zero, well then that's like, uh, yeah, that doesn't count because it's a complete and total miss. Um, that's my understanding of the rules, at least. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's how it goes. Um, yeah, so there you have it. There is That is the Brandenburg W12. I do not think it can carry bombs. Um, I don't 
believe I've ever heard of the Brandenburg historically actually being outfitted to carry bombs. Um, but that would be super cool if if they had been. Um, so I don't know if you could use this for like a bomber scenario or if you'd have to stick with something more like a Roland or an Ofeg or something like that. But yeah, so that is the Brandenburg W12. All right, so to conclude it all, I remember remember that I said that I'm going to be custom painting up a mystery plane. I'm going to give y'all one more video, this one, to kind of guess what it is, and I realize I may have been a little too broad with my uh, criteria for guessing. Um, lots of people submitted some really good guess guesses, and uh, hey, thanks for doing that. So I'm going to broaden it and give you, I'm going to actually narrow it and give you another chance to guess here. So the plane that I'm going to be painting up is a non-official miniature so, not an official Wings of Glory miniature. And it's German. And it's a Scout, so it's a single seat plane. Alright, so that's all I'm going to give you. Happy guessing, guys. Um, like I said before, if, uh, if you guess the plane correctly, I'm going to mail out a custom red and white painted Newport 28 to you. And uh, in the event that there's a tie for the guess, then we'll just randomly draw and if no one guesses it correctly well then I'm just going to randomly draw from all people who submitted a guess and one person will get that plane so hey that's kinda of my way of saying thank you to everyone who's supported me on this channel it's uh... it's just so awesome to see you know the community coming together like this alright anyway until I see you all again salute and blue skies Hey guys, if you liked what you saw, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the shield in the top left corner. If you really liked what you saw and want to be a part of helping us make better content in the future, check us out on Patreon. Until next time, thanks so much for watching, and blue skies.